open up. You open up. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Angel, and happy new year. It's a new year. Clearly, it's what I said. Anyways. It's 2020, it's my first video of 2020. Maybe if I post this as my first video of 2020. Anyways, this is just my braces update. Two months. Um, this is after the appointment. It gave me some goodies. Not really goodies, but when you have braces, this is considered goodies. He gave me some regular, some regular, regular floss. He gave me another brush to get stuff out of my teeth because it's a routine now after I eat there's always gonna be some stuff stuck in my braces so I need to hurry up and get it out because it's embarrassing. He gave me three packs of floss cutters because I'm always using those and then these flossers. Okay I'm gonna give you a close-up of my teeth. Okay, so the bottom row is basically almost straight and my gaps are nearly closed. I'm really happy with that because it feels so great when you finally see results. And I'm gonna put a picture of before. So you can see what I'm talking about, the differences. And this tooth is being pulled. It got pulled from behind that tooth, not like slanted and this one is pulled from the back as well when i went i got light blue um i got a full wire because i finally got that tooth taken out so it's full wire and you know i'm finally gonna see some changes with the top these two teeth i don't think i've mentioned but as you can see they're not square they're usually square on everyone's teeth but they're not on mine so they said that they're gonna flatten it out and i think that means they're gonna make it square i hope so so it could be a nice pretty smile when it's finished but see they're like pointed and like they're small but yeah she also said that um these are going to be pulled back so there is going to be some spaces like gaps in my teeth until they flatten that out and just put it all together. This is just like the movement phase and then we're gonna get to the actual how it's supposed to be. So um, I don't know how I feel about that. I know it's probably gonna look weird like having gaps because it already kind of looks weird but from the front you can't see, not really. But overall, I'm just happy that there's gonna be changes and it's all about the end result. I'm going through all of this for end result. I will say that when they put on the top wire, this is the most pain I've been in since I've gotten braces. And I really hope that it wears off because this is a couple days after the um, appointment. And I really, I don't have sensitive teeth. I never had sensitive teeth until now. Like right, these two teeth, for some reason they're so sensitive, like cold air, cold liquids, cold and frozen foods, like ice cream and stuff. Every time that hits my teeth, I get a sharp pain. And I really hope that doesn't last because I really like not having sensitive teeth. Like I've had to warm up lemonade so I can drink it. It just has to be a little under room temperature since it is like winter, room temperature is like still kind of cold. So a little bit under room temperature and I have to drink on this side. I have to go like this and slurp on a straw so I don't touch right here. So I'm really hoping that doesn't last because it hurts so bad. Okay, this lighting is kind of bad, but I looked it up and it said that it's common with braces patients people people that have braces because um the movement of your teeth is exposing your gum so they said something about that probably being the issue they said it shouldn't last long hopefully it doesn't but i'm going to get me some sensodyne toothpaste to help it out but um when it was all sore like just regular soreness i used brace relief and that helped a lot. One of my goals this year is I'm gonna to try to film more 
because as you can see, I've been slacking like frick. So hopefully I do better this year. It's one of my goals. But anyways, that's pretty much all for this update. I will see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.